I am revolutionary. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a Sasha Velour drag transformation. She's on season 9 of RuPaul's Drag Race, which is airing this Friday. Hopefully I'll have this video out before this Friday, so it's in time for the first episode. But yeah, I'm doing a Sasha Velour drag transformation today. Sasha Velour is one of my new favourite queens on this season. I love her aesthetic, I love her style, I love her drag. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing a drag transformation of her. Hopefully it turned out well, bald cap and all. But yeah, if you want to know how to achieve this look, or just watch me make a full out of myself, be sure to keep on watching. Now don't you leave me with a rage check I need something like a blade check Hey everyone, so before we even start this tutorial, there's a few things you're gonna need. So, unless you have a shaved bald head, or, you know, short hair, you're gonna need a bald cap. The bald cap that I'm using is a Mayron one, and the Mayron ones come in a little large, so you're gonna have to cut them down shorter. I don't know if other bald cap brands do make them pretty large that you have to cut down. Unless you have like an actual bowl cap that you have made or have had made for you, then it will fit your head. But you're gonna have to make it cut down shorter, so just thought I'd let you guys know. So firstly what I do is, is I place this onto my head and then if you can kind of see a little bit with the felt tip marks that I've left on the side. You're gonna have to cut down like the outline of your hairline around the ears and basically down to where you want it because the original bowl cap goes right down here and you don't need it on this side of your face. You need it like towards the side of your side burns and behind the ear and then back of the neck. So yeah, you're gonna need a bowl cap and I just thought I'd let you guys know how I did that because it is a difficult thing to film. That's why I've not filmed a lot of like stuff with how I've like customised this bowl cap for myself. I do have a doll's head that I used to practice my hairstyles with back in college. So I did sort of put it on that to cut it because it's hard to cut on your own head. Because back in college when I learned how to cut bowl caps, it is the hardest thing Ever. This fabric is awful because when you cut it, you've got to be really gentle with it or else it can rip the entire bowl cap like towards the back, like it's a mess. So yeah, I'm gonna need a bowl cap or a shaved head. I would shave my head, but Sasha Velour, I don't love you that much. <laughs> no, it's just too much dedication. Like there's been times where I've thought about cutting all my hair off, but not for like one makeup tutorial. <laughs> and next you're gonna need to glue down your eyebrows, which I will do off camera because I did document last time how I do glue down my eyebrows and what products I do use. You can see that in my last tutorial which is my max drag transformation tutorial also in that tutorial I teach you how to contour on some drag queen boobs you know like you want in 3d boobs but you don't actually want in 3d boobs like it's flat drawn on contoured tits so yeah that's how I do all that stuff it's all like in the last tutorial because I go in a lot of detail in that tutorial whilst with this one I just want to get on with it and not like do a repeat of the last one so yeah off camera I'm just gonna apply my bowl cap and I'm gonna glue down my eyebrows ready for the makeup to glue down a bowl cap what I do is I wet my hair or I put conditioner on it I think today I will do conditioner on it. The conditioner just helps hold the bowl cap securely to the head. Like, it's sort of used as like a glue, but it's not a glue. It's just sort of like to stick the bowl cap as closest to the head as possible. And to glue down the actual glue cap, like around the edges of my head that it will be stuck down with, I'm gonna use Liquid Latex by Mayron. Okay, everyone, so it's voiceover Ollie now. <laughs> Okay, so I lied, I did actually film a little bit of the application of the bowl cap, but whilst I'm here, I just want to talk about some things. Okay, so Sasha actually liked and quoted my tweet on Twitter of the makeup transformation of her, and she quoted it and said, Love this beauty, and bitch, when I say I died, I literally collapsed. Literally, I was gagged. And also, Charlie Hydes of season 9 of Drag Race liked my picture on Instagram of the Sasha look. Bitch, I was deceased this night when I posted the pictures. Also, RuPaul's Drag Race official Twitter liked Sasha's tweet where she quoted my tweet. I, I honestly can't anymore. Like, I'm actually dead. I'm deceased. Like, drag queens are my biggest idols and icons. Like, I love them to death. And I feel like drag queens are the most hardworking people ever. They're just super inspiring and I love them to death. So, I was deceased that night. I was cremated, I was in the ground, I was done. But yeah, as you can see what I'm doing now is I'm just applying some latex to the underneath of the bowl cap and I'm laying it down on my head. I really do apologise throughout this tutorial that I did leave that like speck of sideburn out. I was supposed to glue down my sideburns just like how you glue down brows but I actually thought that it would cover it and little did I know that it actually didn't. But yeah, I just thought I'd check in and just tell you this little bit of information. Also, Max liked a bunch of pictures on Instagram of my drag transformation. He liked my my Instagram posts as well as two posts on this Amen Ollie Instagram fan account. Thank you so much whoever runs that fan account of me. But yeah, he also liked those pictures and I just thought it was crazy. Like Max was so sweet to like the pictures. I'm sure Max doesn't really like use a lot of social media that often. Yeah, I was absolutely like over the moon when he liked my pictures. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know. So yeah, we'll just get back to the video now. 
Okay, so I've covered down my eyebrows, I've put a little bit of powder over the brows, but we will be putting foundation over the top of it. And we've applied the bowl cap and with latex down the sides. This side it got a little bit messy because of the mixture with the glue on my brows. Yay me! Okay, so now we can move on to foundation and makeup and all the rest of the face. Okay, so for primer today, I'm going to be using my Holy Grail L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base Primer. I'm just going to be careful where I'm applying this to, so a little bit on the forehead, nose, cheeks, cupid brow, chin. So I will be moving on to foundation for my head as well. Don't think that I'm just going to ignore my head because obviously you can see my hair coming through the bowl cap. I was going to bleach my hair before I did do my bowl cap on, just because I thought it would make the bowl cap application a lot more easier. But now I'll just do it the hard way because not everyone's going to have blonde hair, so... Okay, so for my face foundation today, I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in the shade NC20. And I'm also going to be using the L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible Matte Foundation in the shade 12 Natural Rose. Mixing these two together just gives me a pale complexion, but also gives me my right skin tone. I am keeping my complexion kind of pale today just because I find it easier using pale shades on my face just because it's easier to cover down the eyebrows, it's easier to cover up the bold head today, so yeah. Okay, so for my foundation brush today, I'm just going to be using a real tech Techniques stippling brush to apply these products with. Okay, so for my head foundation today, because I just tried it with the ones that I just used on my face and it didn't cover like anything. Today I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs foundation just because this one is super full coverage. It might be a little bit of a brighter shade than my face, but hopefully we can make this work. And today I'm just going to use the Urban Decay Optical Blurring Foundation Brush to apply this with. We'll just see if this actually works. Help me! Yay, okay, so my head is mostly covered. I know the back's probably going to be an absolute mess, so please don't clock it. Okay, so now for foundation, just to cover my eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Krylon TV Paint Stick in the shade 070, which is basically white. And I'm just going to use my damp Black Beauty Blender to blend it out. Okay, so now I look crazy, but before we set them, we're just going to do our cream contour. And today I'm going to be using my cream contour Krylon TV paint stick in the shade 5W. I'm just going to apply this. Wait, I can't contour my forehead, can I? Um, I didn't really think about this. Okay, let's just see where this goes. I think I'll contour the nose more with the highlight, kind of like how we did with Max. Okay, so to blend that out, I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, and yeah, we're just going to see if this works with a bald cap on. Okay, um, <laughs> I just put on my Snapchat. As a joke, I took a picture in my bathroom mirror. And I took it from a distance so you couldn't really see my like lines on the bowl cap and I like captioned it and just put just shaved off my head because I was bored lol and my snapchat's kind of blowing up right now no one barely snapchats me by the way so like two people is enough for me to say a lot of people <laughs> Hopefully the camera's focused, but doesn't it look like it's kind of real? Okay, so next for concealer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Mine's in the shade Fair. I'm just going to apply this mostly to the underneath of my... I'm not actually, I'm going to leave the nose last because I need to contour it. Then taking our Black Damp Beauty Blender, I'm just going to blend it all out. Okay, so before we set the entire face, I'm going to use the Mayron Celebrate Contour Highlight Kit. Ignore how messy it is, it always is. I'm going to use the lightest shade down here, or maybe this one, just to highlight my nose with. Because just like in my MAC tutorial, Sasha does not have like a prominent, very strong nose contour. It's like more of like a strong nose highlight. So I'm just going to take a small synthetic brush and just dip into the product. And then I'm just going to make my nose slender.
Okay, so ignore how much of a mess it is now because it's literally just this strip of white. <laughs> but I'm going to contour more down the sides of it with powder when we do move on to that next. But firstly, I'm just going to set my entire face using the Coty S1 loose powder and using a powder puff. I Okay, so now that I look like I've just dunked my head in flour, I'm just going to take my unicorn big powder brush and just blend it sort of. And just dust it off a little bit on my face because this is packed on very heavily. I'm going to sort of leave the eyebrow area because I really want my eyebrows to be flawlessly covered today. It is always very hard on my eyebrows. It must be fun being bold and doing makeup because I do like an eyebrow up here. Like, I'd take my eyeliner all the way to the back of my head because I'd be that extra. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that I look caked, we're just going to give some more dimension to this face now that we've put a fuck ton of powder on it. <laughs> okay, so for contouring today, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, and I think I'm just using this shade down here. I think this one is called Somber. It's just sort of a light, cool tone brown, which is perfect for this sort of skin tone. So yeah, we're just going to use this to contour the cheekbones, the nose, the chin, and I'm just going to use this non-branded contour brush to apply this with. Oh my god, I forgot. We're supposed to contour like... Sasha. Oh, okay, so I'm back. I forgot that Sasha's contour is very, like, defined. Like, it's using cool toned, like, dull colours. Like, they're not extreme. Like, it's not like Trixie Mattel contour. But it is very, like, chiselled, if that makes sense. So, I'm just going to use the cardboard and I'm going to chisel my contour more so it gets more defined. As opposed to what I was starting to do, which is more, like, diffused out. Okay, so next to contour my nose, I'm just going to take this small shader brush and just use the shade Somber again from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm just going to go down the sides of my nose just to contour my nose more and give it more of like a thinner look. Okay guys, so I'm going to do one eye off camera and then I'm going to come back and do the other eye on camera for you guys. So, see you in a minute. Hey everyone, so I'm back and I've done one eye. What do you think? Okay, so I have like a confession to make. I thought these eyebrows would have been easy to have done on camera. I was going to do this one on camera, but literally this one on this side took me so long to like actually get a decent shape. And then I drew this one on and I was like, you know what? This one actually looks better than this one, so I had to even them out. And I do understand that they do look quite messy right now, but off camera I will tidy them up after we've completed the eye. I'm leaving it like this. I literally use black face paint to draw them on just because I find that more easy and I feel like I'm not wasting a lot of product. As if I was to use like eyeliner or a liquid with lipstick or something. So yeah, this is the eyebrows that I've come up with. It's sort of the eyebrow look that Sasha wore on the first episode of season nine. So yeah, unfortunately, I'm not gonna draw my eyebrows on for you guys, but obviously you can get a gist of how to do it. And it isn't the easiest thing, so. So the first shade I'm using in this look is Desert Sands Single Eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. So I'm just gonna dip into it with my big fluffy brush and then just brush it on towards the front of my eyebrows. Well, literally on the front of the eyebrows, let me just say. Okay, so make sure that's blended out and sort of bring it towards the nose area. Okay, so next I'm using the NYX Smoky Palette and I'm going to be taking these two shades, the black and the sort of pinky grey one. First, I'm just going to go into the grey one, just using this big fluffy flat brush. It's like, it's a lot more slimmer than the big fluffy one, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to take this one here as well, just to deepen and gradually darken it. And if you feel like it's not blended out enough, just go back to the previous brush that we just used and blend it out even further. Okay, so now going into the black, I'm just going to darken it even more. But you've got to be careful with the shade because it is very pigmented. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm just going to use my Mayron Pro Coloring Concealer Wheel. And with a small synthetic brush, I'm just going to sort of cut out a inner cut crease. So, I'm going to start from the middle. Blend it downwards. Okay, so next I'm just going to use my MAC shadow in the corner called Orb. I'm just going to set that concealer that we've just put down to sort of make that inner cut crease. And next we're going to move on to eyeliner. So for eyeliner today, I'm going to be using the NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. Okay, so you're going to want to stick some tape down on the side of your eye, on the outer corner. Basically, to do this sort of liquid liner look, because I have really deep set and large lids, what I'm doing is I'm going to look straight forward. And the reason the mirror's brought up this high with me is because I'm going to look straight forward and then just dark.
on my eye where my lid folds inwards. So I know basically where to place the liner. So yeah, now I'm just gonna do the full lid in liner. Well, that's definitely the most eyeliner I've ever worn in my life. <laughs> okay, so next I'm going to take Kylie Cosmetics Dead of Night Lip Liner and I'm going to put it in my waterline and blend it on my lower lash line. Also, leave the inner corner bare because that's what Sasha does. And then taking a smaller eyeshadow brush. Just blend the lip liner down your eyes and out the inner corner. Also ignore that, we're gonna fix that in a minute to clean up the eye. Okay, so now going back into the smoky palette, I'm gonna go back into the black shade and just set what we've just done underneath the eye. Okay, so next I'm just gonna curl my lashes and then I'm gonna apply the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Extra Black Mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Okay, so for lashes today, I bought these off Wish, so there's like no brand or no name. But these are just sort of like large, wispy drag lashes. And yeah, these lashes are really cute. I don't know if they were the best choice for this look, because I do have some other drag lashes that are a lot more thicker. But I like Sasha's lashes because they seem to be very thick and wispy at the same time. Because this is the lash, hopefully you can see that against my face. And I'm just going to apply this using my Duo Lash Glue. Okay, so my camera's about to die, but I'm just going to line my lips using the red lip liner by Ben Nye. And I'm going to be using Krylon's Bruises and Grazes Paint Wheel as the red lipstick because I do not own a creamy red lipstick. I only have, like, liquid to matte ones. Okay guys, so that is the look complete. So I'm now just gonna go and get dressed and everything and then I will come back and do my intro and my outro for you guys. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay everyone, so this is the finished look. So I'm just gonna explain something. So I bought these gloves and I hot glued this fabric onto the gloves. I hot glued this fabric onto my dress. This is the dress that I wore for my carry look, but I wanted it as the dress for this Sasha Velour look. And I bought this crown from Hobbycraft. I did want to paint it black, but it's a shiny metallic material, so. And I also hot glued this fabric to this choker that I'm wearing around my neck. I did want this fluffy feathery fabric to be a lot more dark neon red as opposed to bright neon red but this was the closest thing. I've been filming for around three hours now so thank you for watching this Sasha Velour drag makeup transformation. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it like turned out good as well. I'm not a million percent good at like drag makeup but Hopefully this turned out well. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more makeup related content in the future. And if you want me to do more drag transformations, leave some drag names down below of drag queens that you'd like me to transform into. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Woo, I'm a mountain biking vampire oh, witch no. from the future. Fuck my pussy with a rake, mom. Oh.